So here's a deeply trenched and eroded alluvial fan on the west base of the Panamint Range in California. Deposition by perennial streams on White Mountain alluvial fans appears to be of minor significance. He's talking about at present. Streams in the area appear to accomplish little erosional or depositional work during periods of normal discharge, either within the mountains or on the fans. Their theoretical capacity for load may be high, but the caliber of most of the available debris is such that they are incompetent to move it. In other words, whatever built these fans, they were created and now their fossil features and the modern flows really aren't affecting them, hardly at all. A notable morphological characteristic of many of the White Mountain fans is the presence on their surfaces of large boulders far from canyon mouths. These are particularly conspicuous in the northern part of Upper Owens Valley. The largest boulder discovered is on the Marble Creek fan. The massive granite block measures 30 by 25 by 25 feet and has an estimated weight of 1,500 tons. How they could have attained or how they could have arrived at their present sites.